everyone, welcome to Channel Awesome's Orbit Report, your source for everything happening around the world in pop culture and entertainment news. I'm Heather Roos. And I'm Ayanna Wade. And this is your news for Monday, January 15th. First up this week, we saw an awesome new trailer for the movie Braven, yeah. starring Jason Moma, and it's about a family who somehow gets caught up in a drug smuggling gone wrong. The drug smugglers have to hide their drugs in their cabin that they keep for the winter, and as they go to close it up for the winter, uh-oh, <laughs> drug dudes come back. They find like satchels of drugs right. just like sitting in the cabin. So, of course, Jason Mama has to protect his family and of throw course. some hatchets and mm -hmm. shoot some bows and arrows and it looks really cool actually. <laughs> and it looks like his daughter kind of like hijacks her way on and so then all of a sudden they see these drug guys and she's like, Daddy! It's and like, you're like, oh, of no, child, get of out course. of here. It looks super action-packed, though, and actually very cool. Yes. So we can check that out on February 2nd. Yeah, which is fairly soon. Yeah. So it's kind of interesting that this is the one of the first trailers we've gotten for it, mm -hmm. and it's coming out in a couple of weeks. That's right. So I'm definitely going to be checking that out. Mm -hmm. Also coming out soon on HBO is the new series Mosaic. Now, you can actually check out the whole series right now on their app, which I actually have, and it's super cool. The idea on this app is that you can watch all the content, but it's sort of choose your own adventure style, so you can decide whose storyline you want to see. You can go back and watch other stuff, of course, as well, but as you progress, you kind of see it very one-sided mm -hmm. if you choose, and the ending doesn't necessarily change, but your idea of the ending could possibly have some ramifications as yeah. you go clicking. To see who done it. Exactly. And you get to like play detective because some of the things that you unlock watching each episode, and each episode is different in length on the app as well. Hmm. It's not just a set you watch a 20 minute episode. Yeah. Some of them are more like 40 minutes, some of them are 17. And as you go, you unlock little extras. You can unlock more of that person's like flow in the storyline progression or you can occasionally unlock documents. So you open up a PDF and it tells you about this cult symbol and then you can see all these government documents and what they huh. mean and stuff like that. And it's really cool. You get to just go play detective on this whole series. I will say the one downside is I watching it on a phone, it's it's very much found lighting or natural lighting, and so it can be occasionally very dark, so you can't really watch it outside or while you're traveling. But also it takes up a lot of Wi-Fi, so you probably don't want to use up your data anyways. Right. But if you're watching it at home, it's kind of weird holding your phone for 40 minutes, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I will say that's kind of a downside, but fear not because you don't have to do any of that. You can wait for January 22nd. The whole series is going to be out on HBO, but they get to choose the adventure. Quality. Okay, yeah, I was gonna say it'll be really interesting to see how they translate then right. this Choose Your Own Adventure app into so a So it's TV gonna series. be very much straightforward and they're going to have it edited in the perspective that they wanna see you at certain times. There might be extra okay. footage that we haven't seen, um, but for the most part, it's going to be pretty much the same footage, but they're just going to choose it for you in a very, like, in their own linear way. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I'm very excited to see if there's any interests, differences mm -hmm. on HBO. Otherwise, you can check it all out on the app right now, like I have. It's pretty cool. <laughs> it's pretty fun. Playing detective. She's been pretty obsessed. I've been pretty obsessed. <laughs> it's really cool. I basically figured out who the killer is. Uh oh, there might be a murder. It's okay. You find out like right away. <laughs> <laughs> the whole show is a murder it's mystery. It's literally a murder so. mystery. <laughs> Spoilers, I guess. Exactly. <laughs> uh, this week, also, we heard that John Wick is getting its own TV show spinoff on Stars. It's going to be called The Continental, so it'll be based around the Sweet Hotel. Uh, and man, how much am I going to love delving into that world? Because that's <laughs> some really cool world building, and it's got to be action packed, right? Mm, yeah, it's going of to be. Hopefully, we're going to see some Keanu Reeves. Uh, like guest appearances, maybe a few cameos, maybe. if we're lucky, because he is co-producing it uh, with Chad Stalski, who also did the uh, John Wick films as well. Yeah. And then uh, the showrunner is Chris Collins. So we've got some cool stuff on the horizon for a John Wick show. Yeah. I think there's so much like world that's already built in the movies, I would love to see more. Yeah, and I mean, I know they said that it's going to be a very similar tone yeah. to the movie and they're gonna try to fit in as much action as they can. But the thing that I thought was interesting is I believe they made a statement saying that what they would like to do 
is focus more on making great action sequences and maybe mm. less of them so that the quality is I there instead of the quantity, which I can get behind. Absolutely. Sure. Let's have some high quality action in our John Wick. <laughs> That's right. I mean, if Daredevil can pull off some pretty sweet fight sequences in a show, I mean, there's, there's a few shows like that, but John Wick the movies has some pretty good ones and it's pretty much just chocked full of them. So if we get a few less in the TV show and end up learning some more about different characters or different things about the world, I'm fine. Just make them some great fight sequences. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this week we heard some news on something that we weren't quite sure was going to happen and that is the Black Widow movie. It's maybe happening, but they still maybe. May, still maybe, but they finally got a writer for a script, so there can at least be a script. There have been talks about making a movie for Black Widow forever. forever. This is a long time coming, everyone. <laughs> so it is a huge sigh of relief almost that we finally have a writer attached to this project. Um, and the writer is Jack Schaefer, who has written um, Nasty Women, mm -hmm. which is a female adaptation of Dirty Rotten Scoundrels, which is going to come out this year, um, later this year. Um, and then we also found out that she wrote the uh, Olaf's Frozen Adventure yeah. short. <laughs> Good for you. Good for her. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just excited to see that they do have a female writer attached yeah. to the project, um, so she'll be able to bring that angle to the project and to production. It's about time. Yes, about time, yeah. you know. But also still just a maybe. We haven't right. found out any casting or anything more than that. But right, exactly. You gotta get a script. <laughs> gotta get a script first, yeah. and at least it's a step forward. Mm -hmm. So I'll take it. Yeah. It's a step if forward. If we can also sign up a female director for that. That'd be, be pretty, pretty fun. Nice. Yeah. Just saying. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Scarlett Johansson, I'm sure, would be right on oh, board yeah. with that 100%. For sure. So hopefully, we'll get more news coming soon about that, and maybe even a, a release date. <gasps> yes. Can we? Can we have one? Can maybe. Can we have one? Marvel? Can we? <laughs> can we? Maybe not. That's fine. <laughs> uh, in other movie news this week, the Channing Tatum Gambit movie has lost its third director. That's right. Director number four is what they're looking for right now. <laughs> so it's already got a script and a cast and a release date, but no director. Yep. Yep. They had um, a director attached and then he left due to scheduling conflicts. It was Gore Ver Verbinski? Yes. 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 Yeah, so. And he um, just had some, he had a busy schedule. So. Scheduling conflict. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Considering this is director number three, I'm wondering if it's a little bit more than some scheduling issues that's going uh, on with this movie. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> and because of that then, they also had to push back the release date. We reported, oh my gosh, probably months ago, yeah. that they had set a release date for Valentine's Day um, of 2019. So now, because they're still searching for director number four, <laughs> it's been pushed back to June 7th, which completely makes sense if they haven't even started filming or anything like that, or still looking for a director. Well. We'll see what happens with that. Still happening, apparently. Well, rumor is they're gonna try to at least get it out there before the Disney-Fox merger, if that's mm. going to um, sure. go through, so that they can still have that released before that happens. That makes sense. So they're still trying to, as fast as they can, get a director to get that to happen. <laughs> Fox also announced this week that they're changing the release dates of the two other mutant movies that mm -hmm. are happening. Um, Deadpool 2, but Deadpool 2 is actually getting moved up. So initially it was supposed to be June, yes. <laughs> and now it's going to be May 18th. And one of the reasons that they have done this is because it, they don't want it to compete with the new Han Solo movie. Right. Um, so they want it to come out the week before the Han Solo movie so that they don't have to worry about people going to see Han Solo movie rather than Deadpool 2, but honestly given the choice, I would see Deadpool 2 anyway. <laughs> I don't know that they're going to have many problems. I'm a little yeah. <laughs> concerned about the Han Solo movie, which at least is having its first trailer drop sometime today. Ooh, sometime tonight. So that's right. I'm, I'm sure we'll get to finally see the state of that affair. <laughs> I'm so interested. <laughs> I'm just interested to see if it's going to be a train wreck or not. That's right. I don't know. And we'll see. We still don't necessarily know just from the trailer. Just right. <laughs> That's also true. <laughs> and then they also announced that New Mutants is pushing back its release date. Initially, it was supposed to be April 13th of this year, 
like in a couple months here. Um, I thought it was all done and they were ready to go. We saw a trailer for it, but now it's not going to be released until February 22nd of 2019. Right. And they say that it's because they want to give it breathing room since Deadpool is coming out in May. They want to give it its own time to breathe. And also they said it's not scary enough. They were concerned yeah. that since this is their first adventure into a mutants horror film, they wanted to make sure that it was going to be scary, scary, scary. So I'm hoping that doesn't mean that we're going to get some really awkward mm -hmm. studio mandated reshoots that are going to kind of weaken it rather than strengthen it. Just get on top of those wigs, people. We've, been, <laughs> ooh. Ooh. We've already been there with We've the awful been there. mutant okay. wigs. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Could we not? <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> you gotta stay on top of those haircuts. Though. Yes. <laughs> So, well, I'm still looking forward to New Mutants. It sounds kind it of, interesting it sounds still. different, and I am embracing the difference, so, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, I think that's gonna be it from us here, guys. There's so much more that happened this week. Talk to us in the comments down below as to what we missed and what to look forward to. We're gonna be taking a couple weeks off here at Orba Report from the holidays. It's been a busy time, but we'll be back with you in February. Otherwise, you can get us at on social media. Heather, where is that for you? On Twitter, you can find me at Heather Roos, Instagram at HRoos, or Twitch, twitch.tv slash Heather Roos. And you can find me on Facebook as Ayana Wade or everywhere else as Awesome Ayana. We will see you in a few weeks. In the meantime, can you beam us up? <laughs> <laughs>